All right, good, good evening. Before we get started, I'd like to welcome Reverend Patrick Abent from InterQuest Church who will lead us in our invocation. Oh, let's just all close our eyes and just breathe. And as we breathe, just let the day drop away. So we're going to let go of the worldly way and all of our agendas. And we turn to God. So just breathe and begin to feel God's presence in this place. Father, we ask a blessing upon this meeting this night. We ask a blessing upon this city council. We ask a blessing upon Mayor Lockwood. As these stand forth to steward this city, we ask that they be guided in wisdom, in strength, and in love. Bless this city council and bless this city, Father. That will be done. Thank you. I'd like to call the regular meeting of the Milton City Council for Monday, July 19, 2010, to order. Will the city clerk please call roll and make the general announcements? Good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, I'm happy to call roll for the July 19, 2010, regular meeting. However, I would like to remind those in attendance to please silence all cell phones at this time. Additionally, those attending the meeting would like to provide public comment either during the public hearings or during the call for public comment. You are required to complete a public comment card prior to speaking on an item. There is no public comment for consent agenda items or items under first presentation. Those called to speak will be taken in the order that the speaker cards were received by the city clerk staff prior to the beginning of tonight's meeting. All speakers will identify themselves by name, address, and organization if applicable. When you hear the bell, you have 30 seconds to complete your remarks. The City Council may allow public comment on either an agenda item or general public comment from a representative of such an organized group or association, provided, however, that such an individual shall file a notarized affidavit that they have the authority to speak on behalf of said organization on a form provided by the City Clerk prior to the agenda item being called. Administration of any sort within the chamber is prohibited, so please refrain from any applause, cheering, ruling, outburst, or dialogue with any person speaking. Please show the same respect to the person speaking that you will expect to receive yourself. Anyone in violation will be asked to leave. As I call roll, please confirm your attendance. Mayor Joe Lockwood? Here. Councilmember Karen Carmen? Here. Councilmember Julie Zahner Bailey? Here. Councilmember Bill Lust? Here. Councilmember Burke Hewitt? Here. Councilmember Joe Longoria. Here. And Councilmember Alan Tart is out of town on work related business, but wishes as well tonight. Would everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I want to welcome everybody here tonight, and uh, the city clerk will please down the next item. Next item is approval of meeting agenda, agenda item 10, 11, 7, 6. Okay, is there any other items that need to be considered? Uh, we want to uh, remove the executive session. Actually, no, we're, we're going to keep it. I'm going to add to it. That changed in the last couple of minutes. Yeah. Sorry. Just, just leave, leave it as it is. Okay, do I have a motion and a second on the uh, meeting agenda? I'd like to make a motion to approve the meeting agenda. I'll second it. I have a motion by Council Member Hewitt, uh, second by Council Member Thurman. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That's unanimous. Okay, next item is public comment. Public comment is a time for citizens to share information with the mayor and city council and to provide input and opinions on any matter that is not scheduled for its own public hearing during today's meeting. There's no discussion on items on the consent agenda or first presentation from the public or from council. Each citizen who chooses to participate in public comment must complete a comment card and submit it to the city clerk. Please remember this is not in time to engage the mayor or members of the city council in conversation. When your name is called, please come forward and speak into the microphone 
stating your name and address for the record, and you'll have five minutes for remarks. Do we have any public comment? Yes, sir, we do not. Okay. Let's move on to the consent agenda. We'll put a police down the next item. Our first item is approval of the June 21st, 2010 regular council meeting minutes. Agenda item number 10, 1177. Next, we have approval of financial statements for a period ending June 2010, agenda item number 10, 1178. Our third item is approval of an agreement between the City of Milton and NRCS for a culvert repair. Agenda item number 10, 1179. Our next item is approval of an intergovernmental agreement between the City of Milton, Milton and MARTA for the use of offset funds for pedestrian improvements at intersections along Webb Road and Deerfield Parkway. This is agenda item number 10, 11 8. Our fifth item is approval of an intergovernmental agreement between the City of Milton and Mata for the use of offset funds for the installation of street lighting along Deerfield Parkway from Webb Road to State Route 9. Agenda item number 10, 1181. Next, approval of an intergovernmental agreement between the City of Milton and Marta for the use of offset funds for the building and resurfacing of Webb Road from Morris Road to Deerfield Parkway. This is agenda item number 10, 1182. Next, we have approval of an agreement between the City of Milton and Birmingham United Methodist Church and Special Events Network for the at the Movies on September 11th, 2010. Agenda item number 10, 1183. Our final item is approval of a fee schedule for the 2010 Milton Roundup for use by the City of Milton Parks and Recreation Department. This is agenda item number 10, 1184. Mr. Mayor, I move to approve the consent agenda as read. And I'll second the motion. Okay, I've got a motion by Councilmember Lewis, second by Councilmember Bailey. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That's unanimous. Let's move on to reports and presentations. Will the city clerk please down the next item? A proclamation recognizing NDA Firefighter Appreciation Month, presented by Mayor Joe Lockwood. For 56 years, firefighters have been orchestrating annual fill-the-boot drives to help advance the Muscular Dystrophies Association's life-saving mission. The public service resulting from this labor of love is nothing short of incredible. The effort has raised more than $425 million nationally to help MDA speed research seeking treatments and cures for muscle diseases, while simultaneously helping MDA provide families affected by neuromuscular diseases with unparalleled health care services. Over the last three years, the City of Milton Department has collected $112,000 from generous citizens for local children and adults fighting muscular dystrophy. In 2009, the department raised $48,085, which was the highest in the metro Atlanta area and the third largest in the state of Georgia. This year, the City of Milton will be collecting on August 13th, 20th, 27th, as well as September 3rd and 5th. Please show your support of MDA and our brave firefighters by visiting one of the collection sites and helping us fill the boot. Tom Barfield, the Executive Director of the Atlanta Bee Office of MDA, as well as Angela Brown, the Fundraising Coordinator in Atlanta Bee, are excited to support the department as they embark on another successful boot drive and are here with us in our audience. Also, please welcome Chief Bob Edgar and members of the City of Milton Fire Department. And I am going to come down and read this proclamation. If I can get the uh, firefighters, Bob, and representatives here. The room's cleared out. <laughs> Whereas, dedicated and selfless firefighters in Milton provide vital and life-saving services to the citizens of their community and... Whereas, at a moment's notice, these men and women risk their lives subduing fires and rescuing those trapped in infernos, as well as saving citizens from emergencies that could have been deadly situations. And whereas Georgia firefighters contribute, contribute significantly to the continued well-being of Georgians through their outstanding commitment to community service, 
Their sense of duty and responsibility is evidenced by the hundreds of volunteer hours and annual boot drives to collect funds to help fight muscular dystrophy. And whereas, for over 50 years, firefighters throughout Georgia and the nation have worked with MDA to eradicate the muscular dystrophies, Lou Gehrig's disease, myasthenia gravis, and other neuromuscular diseases, and whereas many of Milton's most deserving citizens have benefited from the, from the funds raised by firefighters in the Fill the Boot campaign, and these public servants make inv invaluable contributions to our community in all tasks they perform. Now, therefore, we, the Mayor and the City Council of City, Mil City of Milton, hereby dictate and proclaim July through September as MDA Firefighter Appreciation time in the city of Milton, Georgia, and encourage all citizens of Milton, Georgia to recognize and support the efforts of these firefighters on behalf of MDA. Given under my hand and seal of the city of Milton, Georgia on this 19th date of July 2010. Okay. If, uh, the city clerk, please handle the next item. Our next item is a proclamation recognizing the Americans with Disabilities Act, presented by Mayor Joe Lockwood. Okay, I want to welcome. First off, I want to welcome Ann Coggins, the chair of the Milton Disability Awareness Committee, and the members of MDAC that are in the audience here. And I'm going to step down again and read this next proclamation. And then the room will be empty. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Sure. Sure. Civil rights of people with disabilities to ensure the civil rights of people with disabilities. The legislation established a clear and comprehensive national mandate for the elimination of discrimination against individuals with disabilities. Whereas the ADA has expanded opportunities for Americans with disabilities by reducing barriers and changing perceptions, increasing full participation in community life. However, Full promise of the ADA will only be reached if public entities remain committed in their efforts to fully implement the ADA. Whereas on the 20th anniversary of the Americans with Disability, Disabilities Act, we, the City of Milton, celebrate and recognize the progress 
that has been made by reaffirming the principles of equality and inclusion and recommending our efforts to reach full ADA compliance. Whereas the National ADA Symposium is spearheading the 2010 by 2010 campaign in recognition of the passage of this landmark civil rights legislation, the National ADA Symposium is inviting state and local governments, schools, colleges, business and organizations, service providers and advocates to join in its proclamation of recommitment. To the spirit of the ADA and hopes to collect 2010 proclamations prior to the end of 2010. Now, therefore, we, the Mayor and the City Council of the City of Milton, hereby join with other cities across the nation in claiming our recommitment to the spirit of the Americans with Disabilities Act on this historic anniversary of the Act. Given under my hand and seal of the City of Milton, Georgia, on the 19th day of 2010. So now you guys will come forward. <laughs> Okay, there are no items under first presentation, so we're going to move on to the alcohol, beverage, license applications, public hearing. Will the city clerk please sound the next item? Oh, they are loud. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the loud uh, committee there? Excuse me, Sudi, that's what happens when you miss, mix an MDA committee with the firefighters. They get wild out. <laughs> Go ahead, Dr. Our next item is approval of the issuance of an alcohol beverage license to be a charity, restaurant group, LLC, doing business as Mambo Jumbo Cafe at 5310 Winwood Parkway, Suite E, Milton, Georgia. The applicant is Jorge Quesada for consumption on the premises of wine, malt, beverages, and distilled spirits. Agenda item number 10, 1185. Ms. Stacy Inglis. Good evening, Mayor and Councilman. The, um, the applicant has met all the departments in the city and the, and the staff have met for the latest alcohol beverage license. Okay, so any questions for Council? Okay, do we have any public comment on this one? Yes, sir, we do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close the public hearing and uh, again ask, is there any discussion, council? And if I don't have any discussion, do I have a motion and a second? 
Mayor, I'll put forward a motion. I put forward a motion to approve the issuance of an alcohol beverage license to Piersa Restaurant Group, LLC, uh, otherwise known as Mambo Jumbo Cafe at 5310 Windward Parkway, Suite E, Milton, Georgia. The applicant, Jorge Guasada, for consumption on the premises of wine and malt beverages and distilled spirits, agenda item number 10-1185. I'll second it. Uh, we've got a motion by Councilman Bailey, second by Councilmember Thurman. Uh, any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That's unanimous. Thank you. If our city clerk will please call the next item. <laughs> Stacy, you can stay right there. Our next item is approval of the issuance of an alcohol beverage license to Bobby G's LLC, doing business as Bobby G's Chicago Eatery at 12990 Highway 9, Suite 102, Milton, Georgia. The applicant is Carol L. Gray for consumption on the premises of wine and malt beverages. This is agenda item number 101186. Ms. Stacy Ingles. This particular application is actually a transfer of location. The owner has already um, already has an alcohol beverage license in their old location, which was off of um, Morris Road. They're moving on Highway 9 um, in the in the Aldi shopping center. So this is simply a transfer. Um, they've met all the requirements of the city, and the staff recommends approval. Okay. Any questions for staff, council, about city public comment, city? No, sir. And we'll close the hearing and uh, open up uh, for a motion. Mr. Mayor, I move to approve the issuance of an alcohol beverage license to Bobby G's LLC DBA Bobby G's Chicago Eatery at 12990 Highway 9, Suite 102, Milton, Georgia. Applicant is Carol L. Gray for consumption on the premises of wine and malt. Malt beverages agenda item number one zero dash one one eight six. I second that. Okay, I have a motion for approval from Council Member Lusk, uh, with a second by Council Member Longoria. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That's unanimous again. Thank Thanks, you, Stacy. There are no items under the zoning agenda or unfinished business, so we're going to move on to new business. Will the city clerk please send the next item? Next item is approval of a memorandum of agreement between the City of Milton and Georgia DNR continuing our commitment to the flood map modernization program. This is agenda item number 10, 1187. Ms. Lynn Tully. As some of you may know, the uh, DFIRM map modernization program, which is just meaning our uh, map updates, have been going on now for the last approximately five years. Um, we're uh, simply asking for a memorandum of agreement to continue this program. We're almost to a close here. We anticipate seeing some maps uh, approximately November time frame, maybe January at the latest. Um, this program, uh, actually the new maps would complement our aerial photography and our new topo lines as well in our GIS. So uh, we're looking forward to getting those. Um, again, the memorandum of agreement is simply continuing that process and asking us to adopt the maps once they're completed. Okay. Are there any questions? Any questions for Lynn? No? Uh, yes, sir. What type of commitment are we obligated to as far as funding or, uh, or human resources? Uh, there's no funding involved. Uh, we have attended a few of the meetings simply to stay abreast of the uh, updates. And then also, um, once the digital elevation, or excuse me, the digital uh, data is received, we'll then incorporate that into our GIS data. But that's really the only staff time that's required. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. And then uh, do I have a motion? And a second. I'd like to make a motion for the approval of a memorandum of agreement between the City of Milton and the Georgia DNR continuing our commitment to the floodplain flood map modernization program. Agenda item 10 11 8 7. I'll second the motion. Okay, I've got a motion for approval from Council Member Hewitt, second by Council Member Bailey. Uh, if there's no, dis no discussion, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That's unanimous. Move on to uh, council reports before we go to 
staff report to any is there anything that uh, council wants to report on at this point so uh, tomorrow's election day don't forget to vote okay we have any staff reports chris just a couple before we go into executive session now uh, staff's knee deep in the fiscal 11 budget uh, preparation process um, you should start to see some of that uh, come forward at the August work session. So it's coming quick this year. We need it to come quick this year um, and get uh, get a budget done uh, before we lose Stacy for a couple of months. Um, so we're on an expedited time schedule. Uh, we still don't have a tax digest. Just to bring you up to speed on that. Uh, we will require we'll kind of will require a temporary collection order again this year, the third year in a row. So we have uh, filled out the proper paperwork to be able to move forward with that process. Um, and one of the big. Uh, Kind of outliers out there that we're just not sure how it's going to come in yet, although we have some um, anticipation of how it's going to come out is, is uh, costs that are associated with our health care uh, benefits. Uh, employees, as well as those that are on insurance, have all filled out questionnaires. Now we're waiting on um, a renewal statement from our current provider, and we will uh, go to the market if we need to to figure out what makes the best sense from it. We've got a good team working on it, so um, uh, we'll put together what we think is the best option, obviously, to present to you. But right now, uh, Budget, budget, and more budget. Folks are uh, uh, spending lots of time doing that, and we, and we need to to get it get it uh, presented to you. Um, a couple other things I needed to communicate with you. I did in, in writing, so you've got a letter there. If you would just give that a, a look over the next uh, couple of days, let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate it. Okay. Anybody worried? And Stacy, don't worry. While you're gone, we're going to call in Bob. <laughs> we count down, so he takes care of everything. <laughs> From where? From a cow town. <laughs> Bob, from a cow town. <laughs> Don't worry, Stacy. take a few more days. Bob's got everything handled. Okay, uh, in our agenda we had an ex executive session to uh, discuss land acquisition, so... Uh, do Mayor, I if I don't mean to interrupt you, I would like to also add potential litigation. Land acquisition and potential litigation. Do I have a motion to uh, move into executive session for those two items? Here I'll make a motion that we move to executive session to discuss land acquisition and potential litigation. We have a second. second. All right, I got a motion by Council Member Thurman, second by Council Longoria. All in favor, please say aye. 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 That's it. Unanimous.
Okay, do I have a motion that uh, we could reconvene the meeting? Mayor, I'll move to reconvene the meeting. I'll second it. Okay, I got a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Do I have a, I'd like to adjourn the meeting. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second that we adjourn our meeting. All in favor, please say aye. 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 That's unanimous. 644. All right, whatever. Close enough, don't worry. Close enough.